Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to create a fade effect for objects that are near the camera. Uh, so to get started, I have a couple uh, objects in my scene here and I made a plane for the ground, which I just textured with a regular ordinary material. Uh, to create the fade effect, um, I created a shaders folder and I am on the universal render pipeline with Unity version 2021.33F1. Um, so that's the version I'm running and I'm using the most up-to-date version of the universal render pipeline with this. So if you have that installed from the package manager, I am just gonna go to create shader graph URP and lit shader. And I will just call this fade near camera. I'll go ahead and open that up, move it to this screen so we can see it. I'll make it bigger. All right, so this is the shader graph and the inputs I'm going to want are first of all the main texture. So I'm just going to make main text. Then if you want to have a color, I'll add that. And then I'm changing the default from black to white. And then the next thing we'll want is a float and the float will call it see through distance. All right, so the first thing is getting the uh, texture and color to show up on the object. So I'm just gonna take the main texture, plug it into a sample texture node. It's gonna collapse that. Then I'll add the color here and put a multiply node and I'm just gonna multiply the color of the texture with the chosen color. And I'll, uh, I will link that output to the base color of the fragment input. All right, and then next thing to do is going to be the actual part of this where the image or the model will fade when it gets close to the camera. So to do that, I'm going to add a camera node and a position node and I'm using world position and then we're going to want to know the distance between those so I'm going to add a distance node and plug in the position for both of those and I'm just going to move these a little more over here uh, then we're going to want to subtract the distance from the camera and the position of the object from, or we'll subtract the see-through distance from that distance. So we'll just plug that in there. Then I'm going to have this go into a dither node. And dithering, uh, it's just like checkerboarding the texture in a certain way um, to have a smooth transition. Um, and then I want to add a multiply node. And I'll have the output of the dither go in there. And I'm just gonna move all of this over. And I want to multiply it by the alpha of the main texture. And then we want to link this output to the alpha of the fragment part of the shader. So to do that, I'm going to go to graph settings and choose to enable alpha clipping. And then the output can just go right to alpha. For the see-through distance input, I want the default to be something like 2.5. I'm going to change it to a slider between 0 and 5. You can change that depending on your needs. Then I will just go ahead and save the asset. Go back to our scene. Then for the material, I'm just going to right click on the shader graph for fade near camera, go to create and material. And then I could put this as tree uh, material, tree mat. And then you can see it's looking for a main texture. So if I just choose the treetop texture for this tree model, doesn't look amazing, but it'll do. Then I can apply it to this treetop and it doesn't look like anything changed. 
But if I take the camera and I go closer, you can see it starts to fade out. When you fit, go back, get some distance, it will come back. So that's really all there is to do here. If I wanted to add it for the stump, I could just duplicate this. Uh, just call it tree trunk mat. And I just gotta make sure I choose the correct one, correct texture, back to shaders, and then just apply it there. And then you can see they just fade away. So you can apply this effect to really any object that you want. The only thing is you're going to have to make materials for it. Um, another optimization that you could do if you want to add the fade near camera effect to other shader graphs is you could go in here. Let's just go ahead and remove that. And I'm just going to kind of separate these. But with what I have highlighted, if I right click, I can do convert to subgraph. And I'll just change this to a fade near camera subgraph. I'll save that. And then you can see there's kind of like a little warning here. So if I go ahead and open up that subgraph, that'll do. Uh, for the output, let's go ahead with float. So I'm just going to name the float we put in out and I'll just link these up and save the subgraph. I'll just close out of that for now. Um, I'm going to ignore this error down here. I think it was just angry the first time I created this. Um, so see through distance is going to feed in here and then the output like we had before, we'll just feed in. And this is a good way to just like declutter your graphs. So now we have this, but say, I'll go ahead and save it. So yeah, still works. Clear that. Uh, say we had a different material that we wanted to apply that to, or a different uh, shader graph. Say unlit, go ahead and open this. And all I would really have to do is go to create node, subgraph, fade near camera, subgraph. And then I could use this uh, for basically any graph I wanted. So that's a good way to reuse this so you don't have to copy paste everything between the different graphs. You could just make a subgraph. So I'm just going to exit out of that. Uh, that is it for this video though. So if you liked it, go ahead and like the video. Uh, if you want me to go into further depth about anything with Shadergraph, uh, let me know what down in the comments. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.